Welcome to the Informed Woman magazine, where science meets clarity and knowledge becomes strength. I'm William Bologna. Let's make women's health understandable together. Lipid levels are not one size fits all. In women, cholesterol changes with hormones, age, and life stages in ways that directly shape heart disease risk. Before menopause, women usually have lower total cholesterol, lower LDL or bad cholesterol, and lower triglycerides than men the same age. At the same time, they have higher HDL, the so-called good cholesterol. Estrogen drives this advantage. It boosts production of apolipoprotein AI, raising HDL, and it increases LDL receptors in the liver, pulling bad cholesterol out of the bloodstream faster. Men, by contrast, tend to carry higher LDL and triglycerides and lower HDL starting early in adulthood. That helps explain why men face higher cardiovascular risk at younger ages. After menopause, the picture changes dramatically. As estrogen declines, women see rises in total cholesterol, LDL, and triglycerides. HDL levels may stay the same, but their protective function weakens. Postmenopausal women often develop smaller, denser LDL particles and larger triglyceride surges after meals, creating a more atherogenic profile than men of the same age. Pregnancy brings another unique shift. Triglycerides and cholesterol rise on purpose, supplying energy and building blocks for the developing fetus, a physiologic change not seen in men. In short, Women benefit from a cardioprotective lipid profile during reproductive years, but hormonal transitions can flip the risk. That is why lipid screening and treatment must be sex-specific, stage-specific, and tailored across a woman's lifespan. Thanks for watching another video by the Informed Woman magazine. Please feel free to comment and ask questions. Subscribe for more science-driven medical insights.